I will talk. About, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have. Uh, I lost my uh, my voice. It will be difficult for me. <coughs> so, I will talk about the Thales activities on uh, CVA6 in 2021. Uh, especially, I will present our work on adding the, uh, the support of 32-bit Linux on CVA6 uh, RISC V application processor. Uh, so, just let me introduce myself. I'm uh, Sebastian Jacques, a uh, research, research engineer at Thales Research and Technology. I've been working on uh, RISC V uh, since 2018, and uh, currently I'm an active contributor to Open Hour Group, uh, especially on the uh, CVA6 processor. Uh, <coughs> sorry. Online, uh, Jean Kevremont, who is uh, RISC V and Open Hour project leader uh, and technical, le technical leader project of CVA6 at Open Hour Group, is online uh, to answer our question asked online. Uh, what about Thales? Thales uh, at Thales were 81,000 employees uh, present at present in 68 countries and uh, of, of the 17 billion uh, uh, euros in turnover in, for uh, 2020, 1 billion euro is self-funded uh, research and development. Uh, our job in Thales is to address demanding markets which require significant uh, technological expertise, such as critical systems, um, security, defense, aeronautics, space, and ground transportation. Our expertises range from the, the sensing and data gathering <coughs> to the data transmission and stora storage, up to the data processing and decision making. Uh, so the question is why Thales invest in Risk Five and Open Hour Source uh, in Open Hour Source. Our first, Risk Five uh, benefits from uh, a, a large uh, software ecosystem uh, compatible across many uh, hardware implementation. Second, uh, Risk Five is a modular ISA and customizable. So we will be able to have a, uh, a specific hardware implementation for a specific uh, operational need. Uh, risk of five is very interesting for the security and safety because it allows us uh, to have a fully auditable architectures and uh, without black box. And at last, thanks to open source and uh, RISC V, Thales is not tied to a specific solution vendor. And uh, we can avoid uh, export controls. All this explains why uh, Thales is both member of Open Hour Group and uh, RISC V International. Uh, as I said previously, Thales is a member of uh, Open Hour Group. Open Hour Group uh, aims to develop an open source uh, RISC V processor uh, in uh, industrial quality. And uh, there, uh, the, there is a family, the Core 5 family. And in this family, there is a uh, a processor of which uh, a processor called CVA6, and the CVA6 is a risk five application processor able to run Linux. Actually, there, there are two flavors of the CVA6. One flavors in 64 bits, the CV64A6, which is uh, on which is a RV64IMAC and F and D are optional. Um, originally, uh, CV6546 
was called Ariane. It was developed by a pulp team at ETH Zurich, and it was transferred to the Open Hour Group with the aim of becoming of industrial grade processor. Uh, there is another uh, uh, flavor. Uh, this flavor is a 32 bits uh, flavor called CV32A6. Uh, actually, this version has been developed by uh, Thales. Uh, this is a more compact uh, implementation which saves uh, silicon resource and uh, power consumption. Uh, this, um, this, uh, the CV 32A6 is more suitable for embedded application would, would like to have uh, a Linux support. At the rest, our goal is to, um, to reach an uh, um, high quality of the CV A6 uh, in both flavors. And one point important, uh, the both flavors uh, shared the, share the, the same code. You have just to, to, to configure the RTL code to have a 64-bit version or 32-bit version. Uh, in 2020, we adapted the CV64A6 uh, into the CV32A6. Uh, in 2021, we added the Linux support. To do so, we had to uh, develop and integrate the CV32 MMU. Uh, to the CV32 MMU is an adaptation of the CV39 MMU, but it's not a simple adaptation because uh, you, have not, you have just not to change the vector size the standard between the CV32 and CV39 are different. It was uh, complicated. Um, in addition, uh, to integrate the CV32, CV32 menu uh, allow us to, uh, to spot uh, bugs, which was unrelated to the MMU uh, uh, module. And once the SV32 MMU was implemented, we integrated, we implemented the CV32B, uh, I'm sorry, we implemented the C, uh, SV32A6 processor on uh, Genesis board, and we implemented Linux. We implemented the BBA, per bootloader, and a build root, a uh, recent build root with recent kernel. Now, here I have a small demo of uh, the Linux booting on, uh, on the CSV, uh, I'm sorry, CV32A6. Uh, so, this is uh, the Linux booting. This is the first process. It's quite long. Uh, now I have the console. Uh, I displayed the CPU info. Um, so what is interesting here, we can see the ISA RV32 IMI with the MMU SV32, and the architecture is uh, from Ariane. And I displayed the system information, this is the build root. So this is a top command. It was just a test of the top command. And uh, at last, I have, um, we also, um, uh, we also implemented uh, the ASCII uh, Tetris to, to show it's an application processor we can play on this processor. And just uh, the, the beginning of. Uh, okay, so as you can see, it's an applica application processor. So uh, all I presented is open sourced. 
uh, there are ongoing and upcoming activities. Uh, actually, uh, we are we are we we uh, implemented U-Boot Open SBI. Uh, it worked uh, since last week on the both flavors of CVS6, and we plan to implement Yocto. Uh, the next year, we will work uh, mainly on the design verification. We will add a, a coprocessor interface. Uh, we will uh, work on the architecture, the microarchitecture, to optimize performance and to uh, to optimize the architecture for uh, SPGA target. Our team in India uh, developed, uh, developed, implemented Flirtos uh, on both on both flavor of CV6, and you have the link of the repository here. And feel free to to join Open Open Arbor Group if you want to contribute. Uh, this slide is uh, just to, to thank to thank uh, Fractal Project, which is uh, funded by Europe, and uh, this project finance uh, the the porting of Linux and CV32 A6. Thank you very much. We do have one question from yes. uh, from online here from Edward. And it's whether you have plans to produce a hardcore Risk V processor itself. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, yes. However much you can you can say to that. Okay. Um, excellent. Thank you. Let me check for some others. You did focus mostly on 32-bit. Anything you want to say about 64-bit or how extensible the work is to 64-bit that you've been doing? I'm sorry. I, I focused my uh, speech on 32-bit. Yeah, on the 32-bit on the implementation. Everything working on 32-bit is working on 64-bit. But uh, originally, the, the CV 64-bit, uh, the the Ion processor was a 64-bit processor. We adapted a 64-bit processor to a 32-bit processor. That's why I uh, mainly focus my uh, my speak on the 32-bit. Okay. I think we're out of time. Thank you very much. Thank you.